Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Weakest Link. I'm your host, Peter Miller, the attorney with a great smile. We are in a sudden death round because in all previous rounds, no one answered a single question correctly. At this point, any correct, incorrect response results in elimination. Now, please welcome our first contestant, Teresa Byer. I am home, hear me roll, in numbers too big to ignore, and I know too much to go. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Miller? How's it going? Happy Saturday, bright and early. We're all glad to be here. How's it going? Teresa, explain the Erie Doctrine in four words for well, Mr. Miller, I can't do that. But this is what I can say. Scalia is a douchebag! I'm sorry. That was five words. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I don't care that I lost. I think I got my point across. Anyway, this, is whole, this whole thing is rigged. This game is rigged. Everyone is so jealous because of my excellence in teaching awards. Our next contestant is Mike Beer. Yeah, I'm blessed, Texas. <laughs> Mike, in what publication would one find the print version of the Morgan Donor Act? Well, you used to be able to find that in a publication it was published by a friend of mine named Brandon Lee in West, West Bottom Out, that's Thompson and West Bottom Out in 1987. Well, he moved up to Alaska. You know, two years ago, the wife and I went there, we went across the country skiing with him. Um, we'll take that as an I don't know. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You know, Brandon was a friend of mine back at the University of Texas. He and I, we went whitewater rafting one time. And, uh, after that, we went down to Del Rio and we worked with Captain Bull, I think it was, in 94. I got the Lone Star t-shirt from that. Next contestant, Lynn Foster. Widgets. 
What, in fact, is the seller dickering over? Okay. What I hear you saying is the seller is dickering over a peppercorn. Now, what is a peppercorn? That's a good question. Is this a peppercorn? Is this a peppercorn? Is this a peppercorn? I don't care if that was the right answer. You just ruined the podium. You are the weakest link. Get out of here. I was simply making a peppercorn point, and I do not appreciate being thrown off the show. Congratulations, Philip. You are not the weakest link. You now have the opportunity to challenge our current champion, but you must do so on her home turf. And I'd like to introduce our reigning champion, Sharon of the Bookstore. <laughs> Here are the rules. First person to answer a question correctly wins. Philip, we'll start with you. In Hayahara versus Tanaka, a 1998 Hawaiian case, the court examined the role of custom as a defense for a doctor whose patient had died on the table. What simple procedure had the plaintiff's decedent gone in for? Well, Tina, I'm going to need some fortification to answer that question. Peter, you've got me. You've stealth me. Sheriff, if you know the answer, you're the champion once again. Tell me the simple procedure the patient in Ayahara went to the doctor for. He went in for a routine examination of a rectal abscess. Congratulations, that is correct! <laughs> Well, I can't believe I got beat with a rectal abscess. In hindsight, I guess I'm going to have to read up on this Hawaiian ass case. A lot of people don't understand why I keep winning. But, I have a lot of free time in I've read most of these books. They're great. They're better than the case books. <laughs> My favorite is High Court. Thank <laughs> you. 